Welcome to day number 147. 147, we're heading to a place that I don't know, remember the name of, but it starts with an O, I think. <laughs> I didn't sleep much last night. Uh, this room was very noisy. It was raining all night, and I'll, my room was just next to a drain or whatever, so I could just hear the plop, 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 plopping all the time. And there was a machine or some kind of laundry stuff going on in the other room throughout the night. So uh, I didn't sleep. I slept for like four or five hours. It's oh, it's about 10 o'clock now, and I slept for four or five hours. So hopefully I can. That's that's enough of the day. It's got to be a 30-kilometer day. I uh, don't know where it will end. I'll have to check where Helbergis are. But I'm not too worried. Um, I know people who've gone out here and been okay. So I met two French uh, women yesterday who are also going to Mushia first. So maybe I'll have some company out there. So that's going to be good. Apparently, the main reason uh, people end in different places historically is that in Mashiach, people uh, end uh, if they're of Christian reasons, for, for like religious reasons or being a Christian. And I think it's because, because there's a shrine, there's a church, and I haven't actually been in that church before, so maybe I'll try that this time. Um, and then for people who go to Finisterre, that's more of an alternative or more spiritual um, finish. So um, I guess that fits me better anyway. So um, we'll see how the day goes. It's going to be rainy here the next couple of hours, so I'm just going to head straight into the rain. Um, I did start out late as well because it would stop during the day, so I'm hoping that I will just get a couple of hours, but it doesn't look too good. But tomorrow is going to be sun and rainbows, and uh, the next day when I arrive into Finisterre, it's going to be um, good as well. And then I'll stay there, I think, for a few days or whatever. I don't know what will happen any yet. I just need to finish this thing uh, completely and, and be done, feel done, um, and feel that I concluded what I was set out to do. And then we'll see if I stay, how far, how long I stay in Finisterre, how if I feel like continuing walking, or um, maybe if this is just it, and I need to, f I def need to find a, p a good place for me to be for some weeks or months to, to just reflect, write, um, and so on. Because I think that period of time will be very important. Uh, I can't just do something else um, and be distracted for some weeks. I need to, I need to really take that reflection time seriously. So that's it for the day. I hope you'll stay with me for the, the next Three days, including today, out to the end of the world. Now the day can begin. Um, was in this uh, supermercado here, gas station. It's Sunday, so it's, there's nothing open and uh, got some stuff. Now I can get on my way here. Feel good, legs feel good. Um, I feel good, but now I feel wet soon. So this is be the last video for the next couple of hours, probably. Ciao for now. But I got some food, so that's important. Snacks and bars. And uh, I could have eaten some breakfast there at the hotel. I just felt like getting out of there. It's just not a place for me, I think. <laughs> Standing on the bridge here, really bad start on the day here. So fucking wet. It will clear up in the afternoon, but it will take a couple of hours at least, probably. And it's really coming down, like, I'm, I'm just annoying. But anyways, um, what I just zoomed in on was uh, one of my favorite, probably my favorite uh, statue on the Camino. So I'll go, go over there and, uh, and, and have you see it because I really, really find this an interesting statue. Stand around with my camera too much over there, so I'm trying to explain it here from here, or maybe later. Uh, that it's a pilgrim statue, of course, but on one side of this, there's a wall. There's a wall between the pilgrim and a mom with with his son, with her son, and the son is is grabbing the pilgrim by the leg or the pants through the hole for him to stop or for him to whatever you want to think that he's he's walking away from maybe it's his dad maybe it's just because the pilgrim is an interesting fella um, you know I want to come with you or something like that I don't want to be around my mother I want to be free with you whatever you know whatever interpretation you might think of but I just really like it it's uh, it's really awesome so um, yeah I'm just gonna go over there and then I'm gonna head on and, and not record much more I'm gonna record anyway. So as you can see, the this, the the boy, the older boy of the two, is reaching through the wall, and on the other side, Pilgrim is there. He's sort of taking him by the pants, and the world, the earth, is is the is the ball on, on top. Um, I just really find it so awesome. I love it. I love the statue.
69 kilometers but that's the Finisterre I think there's only 66 or something to Moshea but it's gonna be a couple long days but so far I feel really good today that's a dog and I went sort of the wrong way and into its territory and it just barked and, rah, rah, rah. and it was like just a few meters away from attacking and stuff and oh, I am so tired of dogs that do that Ooh, that's the third time I mean it's a small dog so it couldn't really do anything hard. but just having an animal just like be so aggressive and sort of wanting to attack you or whatever just kind of that prove enough <laughs> A little gremlin, you know, like rare. Came out of a lot of forests. Forests. One camino. Yeah, so you, as you can see, um, I'm walking this way, straight ahead, but the uh, Santiago the other way. Because, of course, you can walk around sort of out two stages, the Mushia was in his head. I'm getting scared of dogs. <laughs> oh, yeah. In the past 62, two and a half times, and, but, um, yeah, you can walk around from here to finish there and then around and then the same two stages back to Santiago. So that's why it says that to help the ones who are wandering back. Which I don't know if I'll do. I thought I would do it last time, but uh, it didn't make sense to walk back. We'll see. It just stopped raining and now it's raining again. Ah, come on. Shells on everything. I'm quite happy I'm not a rabbit or a duck or something. Cause that was a hunter. It started raining again like before and I think it's gonna continue the rest of the day. Tom was right, it's gonna rain 100% of the time. <laughs> but tomorrow's gonna be a beautiful day, I think. So that would be nice to walk into Mashia. I haven't seen my pilgrim friends from Salvador and the other guys, but I think they're ahead of me. 59, um, so let's see. I am walking to Obreria or Obreria. Pilgrims on the trail. About 30 kilometers and I have about 18, 19 left. Pilgrims on the so, trail. So, uh, let's in see what rain. I find in the sleep in there. Yeah. Just had a good break with some French people. Yeah. And then squat. I'm heading on and unfortunately there is a lot <coughs> far left it's about 30 it stopped raining and I've started with 32 with hiccups and we've walked and I hope it'll stay this 16, way 16, 17 <coughs> or something 56 I remember this place <coughs> this last time I slept or I went this way <coughs> as well of course but Mm. Yeah. It's two o'clock. According to the map, it's there's about 17, 18 left, which I think is a lot right now. That means I'll arrive at 5, 5.30, so that's a little annoying, but I also uh, started quite late. But this is what I hoped for, that most of the afternoon would be without rain, and now it's not raining, but it's just on the edge of raining. Just frickle of rain comes down so but good to it looks get like wild horses but it's stomach. not well and hopefully it will stay dry wild. because my pants are beginning to dry up now the, good. the white ones are uh, and uh yeah have some kind of chain on see the end soon yeah i got a little pissed off because i was attacked by another fucking dog and i don't know if if I uh, missed that arrow because of that, but now I'm definitely not on the right track. So I just got on the highway here. Fucking hell. Wow. I can really get pissed off sometimes. Last night I was, I couldn't sleep either because my stomach was really intense. I mean, I, I've had a lot of stuff there. 
for a long time and yesterday I just went for Cirque. I'm really tired of dogs. They just bark at you for no reason. So I'm walking this way. I mean, I found a place where I'm staying for the night, but now I've walked for, yeah, well, I've actually walked for, uh, I've probably walked for an hour since the break and I still have the same distance. When that happens, I get really pissed off. Fucking hell, I get pissed off when that happens. Yeah, I'm not a saint because I have walked throughout Europe. Just so you know that. Some things I can get pissed off at still. <laughs> Back on track. What an annoying hour or two do you spend on that? I am three kilometers closer in close to two hours. <sighs> what in the world am I going to do now? I took the little rich thing. Green fields, rivers, water, trees, animals. There is rain, but there is also when the sun is out, it's one of the most beautiful places in the world. Beautiful. Galicia in its roar. I love it here. I just passed, I just had a conversation with a friend, but on the phone, but uh, I was just passing a French lady, which was one of the people that I had lunch with. And she asked me, why am I, be why are you behind me? <laughs> well, I got lost. Walking in a very healthy way though, it looks like she's sort of really bent over and her back, back is literally like, she's really walking in a crooked way. Doesn't look so, so good. On top of a mountain here. I'm gonna go further up, it looks like. I don't remember at all that I've walked over here through here and I'm really don't understand why I'm walking this way based on the map before it looks like it's gonna be even longer now it's fucking hell yeah I mean it's beautiful and stuff but I'm also very it's gonna be almost like 6 30 or something before I fucking arrive it's so weird I don't remember I have I have walked here at all it's so weird it's so weird but when the sun comes out I'm happy just because I say fuck and I'm angry at times, it doesn't mean I'm really angry. <laughs> oh man, I was actually really pissed off earlier and I'm like, Gideon, please. Have you even gotten anything out of this, you know? Always feeling disappointed, kind of. It's all a journey. We all have stuff to work on. I have stuff to work on. I will continue to have stuff to work on. And I've become a better person with this trip, but I'm, I have not become a perfect person. You know, I mean, that's good to remember. Maybe we should pursue perfection, but we will never get it because as soon as we get it, what is there to pursue? What is there to pursue if you already are perfect? Nothing. And everything has changed, so nothing can be per perfect at all, at all because everything is, is, uh, not nothing is stagnant, nothing is the same, nothing stays the same. It's also why, you know, religion and a lot of these dogmas, um, a lot of it doesn't really make sense anymore because it has changed. But there, is a, there are establishments and systems. They want to keep things in place or at the you know, you know, the same, even though things change. And just imagine if we, if we individually, just for one thing, could let go of our attachment to stuff and just pursue, enjoy, and love in ourselves and life and just create and do and, and, and not really worry, just, just live, just live, not be attached to outcomes, to results. Just enjoy the process of obtaining something or creating something or being with somebody or or the experiences that we have and then you know exp love it for what it is and have it as a beautiful memory in your mind and body and whatnot but not not, not for anything else and just move on and, you know everything is a journey it's all connected this journey is so beautiful for me because i know that it's i've experienced so much and it will stay with me Whenever I see the videos I've, I've made or talk about it or think about it, I will be, I'll be happy. I'll be thinking about it, thinking about it. And that's also something I thought about. When I, last year, in a, a year and a half ago, almost, I guess, I ran my first marathon. I actually run, ran a 32 kilometer and a half marathon uh, in two week, weekends in a row. And then I did a marathon with my friend Stefan. We all did the, those three races together. And then we, um, yeah, there's a dog down there. That's why I'm hesitating now. <laughs> Um, and then we did the marathon five or six weekends later or whatever it was. I, when I think about that marathon, I am I'm so rich with endorphins because I knew back then I was so rich with happiness. I was, I was almost crying of, tear, of joy because there were so much endorphins coming through. So whenever I think about that experience, I am happy. I feel happy because 
it's just so, you know, the endorphins are just so much there. So that was really interesting. Um, and I think that's also why we should really do things that makes our endorphins really uh, increase and so on, because yeah, it'll make us rem remember, it'll make us feel happy when we remember the things we have been through. So yeah, there's a dog looking at me and I'm wondering if it's gonna kill me. I've really been close to snapping now with all the dogs attacking me. There was another one before earlier as well, when I showed you, but then there was another one. And that's where, after that, I, that's when I lost track of where I was. And that was a big dog. And it just ran after me for a while. Holy hell. I, I really have such a, I don't understand why. I mean, the, the people who have their dogs, don't they have any respect? I mean, how can they have, they must know their dog, right? So if you have, if you know your dog, you know that, and, and you, I just don't understand. But I'm just gonna put my phone now. If I have to defend myself here. 37 kilometers heading over this bridge. And there's just a couple of kilometers to go. I've just been on my phone with my mom. She wrote me a message and I wanted to talk to her and then, and then just talk to somebody to forget my pain, distract me a bit from that. So, but uh, heading over to over the bridge here and then very close to the albergue and a lot of pilgrims. So that's going to be good. And heading into the region or province, I guess, of Dumbria. So haven't recorded much here the last few kilometers just because I had a talk with my mom, which helped a bit. <laughs> so, as I said before, it just dragged me a bit from the distance left and a bit of pain and stuff so but uh, just uh, less than a kilometer here just into into the town here so uh, should be a good place and uh, I think all the pilgrims that I know that are heading out here are there so it's gonna be nice hopefully there's some dinner and stuff it's Sunday uh, so I think I'll avoid working tonight unless uh, maybe a bit later on when people are asleep but. Tomorrow, uh, heading out to Mashia. It's going to be a better, sunny, more dry day, and uh, it's going to be about the same distance, maybe, maybe a couple of kilometers less. But it's going to be good. I look forward to. And uh, we'll see. I think there is a few people walking out there that I that from the French group that I met today, and then uh, maybe Salvador from uh, Catalonia is going to head out there as well. And hopefully, I'll have some company. I would like to have some video of when the road splits between Finisterre and Muxia. Soon we will arrive and it's slowly getting dark here. You can just see that it's just slowly getting dim, more dim. But I look forward to arrive and to hopefully get something to eat. Been a rough day, to be honest. Dog attacked, dog attack and walking the wrong way. And yeah, I should have been there about an hour before. Now I'm arriving here fairly soon. Olve, Olveiroa, Olveiroa, that's where I'm heading, or that's where I am, I guess, I should say. <sighs> Just up here to the left, down to uh, the hostel, Albergue Hostel Horio, Horario or something. Good stuff to be done, good stuff. And I'll have company tonight, so hopefully we'll have some dinner and some good stuff. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. I don't know where well, I'm just 36 to Finisterre. Bonjour. Hey. <laughs> Good, how are you? Yes. <laughs> okay, super. The day uh, started late. What time did you start? Arrived, safe and sound, got checked in. Really nice place. And there's a restaurant, everything is cool. Wish I arrived earlier. <laughs> oh well.
good to be here. I'm, wh I'm whispering because I think there's someone here. That's me. Today's left. <laughs> 